channel. It's Kiara. You already know who it is, who it be, bro. I got something good for you. I got some news for you. I'm going to make this real short and sweet. Today, I am going to be giving you three reasons as to why your life is not where you want it to be, where you think it should be, all of that. Now, I hope you don't think that you clicked on this video expecting me to tell you about how you ain't doing this or how you ain't doing that, what you should be doing, who you shouldn't be involved with, the places you should not be in, all of that crazy stuff. Nope, I'm not here to bash you. I'm not here to make you feel bad. I'm not here to tell you what to stop doing. But I am here to tell you three big reasons as to why you may not be where you think you should be right now. Reason number one, it simply ain't time. It just isn't time. We have to respect the idea that God does things in his timing. We like to believe that our life is just ours, and of course this is our life, but think of your life as a thread, okay? You are a thread in a very, very, very big quilt with other people. We are all bound together to create this amazing thing. We're not just living our own lives. We have to be in harmony with the things that are around us as well. It takes time for things to fall into place. You don't want to get something too soon before you're even ready to receive that thing. So just be very, very grateful right now. If you are not where you want to be, it probably just is not the time for you to be where you want to be. You know, we have to respect the fact that things take time. You have to grow, which leads me to my second point. You are being groomed. Maybe life is hard for you right now, and usually when you feel like life is not going the way that you want it to go, it's usually because you're experiencing some type of hardship, some level of difficulty. What we need to be mindful of is taking that moment to understand, okay, what is it that I'm meant to learn in this moment? Everything is not a bad thing. God uses even the bad things for the good things, okay? What the enemy meant for bad, God did what? Okay, just to make sure you was listening. Sometimes. We have to be grown. You do not want to get to a certain place in life where you have all these amazing things, but you are not the person built for it. You have to be groomed into that. You wouldn't let a child drive your brand new luxury car. The third reason, God wants to reveal some things to you. So before you get to this place in life that you imagine yourself, maybe you sat down and you visualized yourself being this prestige or executive person or whatever it is that you imagine yourself being, I don't know. Whatever success means to you, that's something different for everybody. Maybe you're not in the position that you want to be in. There's some room for growth. You have your eye on a promotion. Maybe you're waiting for that opportunity. Sometimes people reveal themselves to you before you get that promotion. Sometimes God wants to reveal to you a person's character before they place you in this position because we have to know who people truly are. What we're being groomed for needs to be protected. And so sometimes God wants to reveal to you who is in your circle, who is in the room. And it's very hard for a person with very, very high stature, a person that is in a very high position to truly know a person's character. Because a lot of times at work, you kind of like, people kiss the manager's butt or the supervisor or the CEO. Just a lot of things that you don't reveal about yourself to a person that you maybe report to or the person that signs your checks. Maybe there are some resources out there that God wants you to be aware of before he places you in a position. When God does things, it's a perfect process. Even though we do not realize it, even though it may not feel like it, it is a perfect process. And so we have to respect the process. We have to respect God's timing. And we have to realize that our timing is not his. So although you feel like, oh my goodness, this is the worst time of my life. I don't understand why this is happening. I thought things were getting better. I thought that I wanted to do this, but it's not working out that way. I have dreams of being promoted. I have dreams of owning my own business. I have dreams of being a successful YouTuber, but things are just not working out. Start to take inventory of how you feel, why you feel the way you feel, and really examine your life. Am I truly, truly ready for this? And sometimes we don't even know if we're ready because we don't know what it will take to be the person we are trying to be. And sometimes God is like, you know what? You just sit back and let me give you the training that you need to be that person that I need you to be. Life is not a thing that you could just choose to walk through and just not go through it without any type of hardship. There will be some type of struggle or trial or tribulation. It's promised. How we deal with them is what matters. Now my problem, because I do have a problem, I'm not, I'm not speaking from a place of perfection, I'm speaking from a place of experience. Sometimes things get harder before they start to change. I know that a lot of times the anxiety that I feel is because I experience 
expected myself to be in a certain place. And now that I'm 30 years old, I felt like, well, I should have had a husband. I should have had kids. I should have been, you know, working at this type of job. I should be making this amount of money. My businesses should be this successful. You know, we have these ideas and our goals in mind. And when we get to those places and we're not there, there's a certain level of disappointment that we feel. And we feel like our hope is deferred and that we just can't get back on track. It's common to feel that way. But growth, self-awareness, self-love, helps you to be like, you know what? It is okay that I am here. You learn to show yourself grace. Because if you are frustrated that things are not working out, there is some issue there. There is some issue. Maybe you've been applying to jobs and you're just not getting them. And that doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. That just means that there is a perfect time for things. Maybe the opportunity that is meant for you hasn't even been created yet. So take your time, show yourself some grace, be all in this thing together. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week and make sure that you check in next Friday because I'm going to be here, okay? Like, comment, and subscribe.